Blessed day guys and peace be upon you today. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure either channel using PAGP protocol. Okay, so you're going to understand what PAGP means and what either channel means. And before we go deep into that, let me open the Google spreadsheet and let you know that we're today on day seven. We're going layer two either channel using PHP, then LSP later. Okay, all right. So, what is either channel and what is PHP? So, this is just a quick, uh, a quick um, explanation. Either channel allows us to uh, bundle together a uh, physical link into one logical channel. So, these physical links will be assumed to be one logical channel, right? So you can see the advantages and uh, what advantages are like this no stage of bandwidth no loop there's redundancy okay so there are some criteria that should be taken care of right all right so um there are protocols that we need to uh take into consideration during either channel configuration all right so there are either channel protocols for example we have php and lacp so today we're going to do PAGP, what's called port aggregation protocol. So port aggregation protocol is a protocol of either channel uh, and it's Cisco proprietary. It's mainly used for Cisco devices. And uh, you know, in this protocol, we have modes. So modes of configuring either channel. We can configure either channel as on, on, or uh, in, in, this, in this small table here. So we can configure desirable and desirable, either channel will work. Desirable auto either channel will work, auto desirable either channel will work, but not auto auto. So this is a sample way of configuring either channel. So after having understood that, I'll come back to our topology here and open this notepad. So the first step is to draw necessary topology, topology, decorate and comment. So we have drawn the topology. As you can see, we have how many switches? Three switches. We have two layer two switches one two and one layer three switch so this switch is this switch let me just show you that one switches and we come to 3650 not 3560 30 3650 24 port switch okay so make sure you choose 3650 3650 all right okay having i've done that you can see we've done the topology decorate and comment having i've done that i'll do this an additional thing you can see this switch is in shutdown state by default that's why you can see um all the interfaces are down so what to do it's it's off i mean it's not powered on it doesn't have power uh, power supply connected so what you do you just drag this is this thing that's called ac power supply and put it there and that's all then you wait a little bit you will see this all of these interfaces will turn from red to orange then from orange to green indicating that now those ports are on right okay so um the next thing that we're going to do we're going to identify trunk links we're going to configure PHP uh pgp channel group uh, number and mode okay so sorry sorry mode for PHP is not active passive that's for lsp so i change this to desirable desirable sorry sorry for that desirable auto and let's make this side auto desirable or desirable desirable auto desirable will work but not auto auto we can make desirable auto or auto desirable or desirable desirable but not auto auto okay all right so the second step was to uh identif identify trunk links configure pgp channel group and mode so before i do that let me explain this topology you can see by default, spanning tree protocol has put some links or ports in blocking state. You can see orange, orange on this side, orange, orange on this side to eliminate loops. So it's only one link uh, that is allowed to send and receive data, but not the two of them. You can see I have, I have three ports. I have three links to, links used. Okay. Now, spanning tree protocol by default has put two links uh, in shadows, I mean in blocking state. So, 
if you want to utilize the full bandwidth okay we need to configure either channel so that all of these links can be forwarding data at the same time to use to utilize the full bandwidth so that's why we need to configure either channel so identify trunk links and configure PHP channel group and mode so how do you identify trunk link any link connecting switch to switch should be trunk like for example let's start with from this switch okay all right so this is uh, FA3 uh, FA2 and FA1 so FA1 FA1 to FA3 on that switch enable uh, put it yes okay so enable uh, config t okay so interface range fa1 slash uh fa0 slash one two three we have three ports that should be trunk links okay then we configure we've been told to configure um configure PAGP channel group number and mode so how do we configure PAGP channel group number okay so channel group number as you can see it's been indicated here to be used channel group number one okay so let's say if this switch is connected to this switch it should use channel group number one if this switch is connected to this one channel group number two if it was connected to other switches channel group, then we increase the channel group number for example three four etc etc okay all right so um go 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 and do it very very fast so how do we do it we just say channel group uh channel group one okay then we include the mode don't forget mode you can see you can see here configure channel group uh, configure PAGP channel group number and mode so mode there we say that it should be desirable auto so if this side is auto this side should be desirable or if this side is desirable this side should be auto so let's make this side um desirable no problem and i hit enter and don't don't concern about anything then you exit then the number number four tells us that enter port channel number created and configure it as trunk well port channel number remember we created a port group channel group number one so we enter port channel number one so we just say interface interface port port channel port channel one then you say switch port mode mode trap very simple that's all that's how to configure either channel and do right so we are done configuring either channel on this switch so we can just say display either channel information just say do show or uh, show either channel you can see uh we have how many ports three ports and we're using we, we are using which protocol PAGP protocol port number channel number one okay all right so let's go to this switch before that i want to go to this switch because on this switch we're going to call, configure channel group number one then channel group number two so let's finish on this switch okay first so i go to this switch enable uh config t then the first step was always to identify trunk links and configure pgp uh channel group number and mode okay so um on this switch it's also i think it's from fa1 to fa3 so fa1 fa2 and fa3 so if from fa1 to fa3 so interface range fa1 uh to three okay then we make it to port channel number i mean channel group number two you just say channel group number two to mod to be we said mod to be auto desirable so on this let me make this one to be uh let me make this to be auto okay all right exit and for doing that we come back and see we enter the port channel number created and configure it as trunk okay so we just go here and say interface port channel port channel channel 2 switch port mode mode to be trunk very simple
and we're just done configuring either channel on this switch do right okay okay so um we go to this switch here and configure either channel on these uh, three interfaces and on these three interfaces and make on this side to be uh, channel group number one they said to be channel group number two and you can remember on this on this switch we made it to be 12 a mode of uh, let me see it it's a mode of uh, desirable okay so on this side it should be auto right okay and on this switch we made a mode of uh, um, auto you see here so on this side here it should be desirable so this said auto this said desirable right so let's go go to this switch go to cli and say just say no enable config t good so let's identify the trunk interfaces giggle 3 giggle 2 and uh gig 101 so it's interface range gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 3 okay then we make it channel group number 1 just say channel channel group channel group channel group uh, 1 okay mod to be um out and we tend okay channel group number one mod to be auto because on this side it was desirable it can be desirable auto or auto desirable or desirable desirable but not auto auto okay and we exit we exit uh config team sorry so here what do we do now we configure uh enter the port channel number created and configure it as trunk so we just enter interface port channel one um six port mode to be trunk hit enter exit and do it so put your eyes guys everything will turn green green we won't have those blocking ports you can see because we've enabled either channel on this head and on this head so let's uh, create either channel on this head also which is uh, let's identify the ports giggle 6 uh, giggle 5 and gig 104 so interface range gig 104 to 6 okay switch port mode oh sorry 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 channel group channel uh group number two mod to be desirable because on this side it was auto so here to be desirable okay mod to be desirable and you hit enter you exit and you enter the port channel number so interface port channel port channel two switch port mode mode to be trunk and you are done do right so guys put your eyes put your eyes everything here will turn to green green as opposed to the previous case where one where only one link is green green others were put into blocking state so as you can see guys we have managed to configure either channel on this side and on this side and now we can have full bandwidth utilization okay all right so if you can just go here and see do show either channel you see on this port we configure how many on this switch we, con we configured how many groups two or group one and group two and you can see uh group one and group two group one had three ports you can see uh pgp group two had three ports and it was pgp as um either channel protocol used okay so if i go back to our google spreadsheet uh, i don't want to partially mark it so i'll mark it when we are done with lacp so thank you so much guys for watching my videos and i believe um my videos really help you know how to configure 
either channel using port aggregation protocol, which is a Cisco proprietary form of either channel or, or link aggregation. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, share my video, drop a comment below, and let's see you in the next video. Thank you.